gets in a little bit of trouble to start. And those three guards you talked about off the top of the show, any one of them can go for 25. Special freshman with the ball right now in Keontae George. Well, Keontae George since January. Really took advantage of Kansas on the offensive glass. Well, that was the issue. Turnovers and offensive rebounding. This Baylor team is... And the second shots and scoring off turnovers, that was the difference in the game. Found in Waco, but he misses the short jumper here. And that's a good job by Adams. Forced the tough two. Anytime Kansas switches, they have to switch up to take something away. 3% from beyond the arc on the season. Effort uh, against Oklahoma State. And, and right now, Keontae George is trying to get get his legs under him and seven points in that game made some real key plays down the stretch with the shot clock running down Keontae George Keontae George has got game and now in transition Bridges the kick George is open Everybody's trying to take that three-point shot away from him. So he gives that shot fake and just counters the defense. Oh, George again. <laughs> they are great pets. Very low maintenance. Unlike yourself. Listen a little bit earlier. Paul Aldrich is here. And jump shooters. He's three. Good ball movement. Wilson no. And George with the rebound. Advantage Baylor. George will finish it in transition college basketball and they have taken control of this one here at the fog with the three guards defensive deficiencies wilson tough one it won't go one for 11 from three baylor six for nine george tough one off the dribble gets the bounce cox cannot buy one george again Oh boy! A chance for a four-point play. Next one down, uses the drag screen in transition, got hit. That's what happens when all three are hot. You know, Baylor's made eight. Wilson on the drive. Good cut. But Brady Dick, fourth NCAA championship, sixth national championship. And they've come up with the loose ball. Uh, we're seeing a much more focused defensive team in the second half wow george but kevin mcculler doing a nice job on adam flagler he's right with him on those cuts and a chance for three now so far out on the floor that was a 40-foot pass and grady dick just a little bit late rotating over the score struggled initially to get the ball in but once dewan harris got it he came straight downhill at the basket George steps into a three. It won't go. Against a lesser defender, an easy basket for Baylor. A huge bucket for the Bears. Hey, George, you know, he had 32 points in that overtime game against West Virginia. He can fill it up. The Jayhawks, wide open with the pin in. Dick misses the three, George the rebound. Open shot. I'll tell you, in some ways, Baylor's a little fortunate. Grady Dick has missed some shots that he normally hits leader as well well just because you're a role player with, with older players on the team doesn't mean you're not capable of more up 14 in the second half but you're, you're a math guy that's a 27 point swing right? correct make it 25 play after making that catch george left it short just for tonight's player of the game brought to you by philip 66 dewan harris who had a spectacular second half bill self